Welcome back to Here They Lie. I've taken the game's advice and have taken a break. We're going to continue on to Chapter 2. There we go. Oh, just occurred to me. I have not put on my earphones. Sorry, so unprofessional. I got back into the headset, put it on, started recording again, and I just completely forgot. I forgot to put my, my sound in, my earphones. Can't hear anything in that way. But now I'm starting to put him in, and I'm hearing some rain. And some wind. Well, I don't know if I... Actually, I thought it was rain, but maybe not. But yeah, that's probably rain. I like how this town seems to have just, like, layers that just keep on going down. Well, that's just unfriendly. I was walking here, winding my own business. And someone just smacked me across the face, apparently knocked me... Hold on. Just moving out of my body, I think. Hold on, let me make sure that I'm organized here. I'm in my body. Okay. Well, I was walking up there, but I got knocked across here. Really, some people. It's like you can't even walk ar around the streets in the city anymore without just someone jumping out of an alley, smacking you in the face, and just completely inconveniencing you. It's ridiculous. Let's go down here. Uh, what's my... There we go. That's my flashlight. Anything here? Looks like a little dark secret area, maybe. And that does mean a box, perhaps? Yeah, it does. What's in the box? Ah, ramp. I'm standing here minding my own business, and all of a sudden, you know, uh, I've been told that the darker beings, they see your light, they're jealous of it, and they may lash out at you. When I sense that, I try not to give some of the, like, over-the-top people, I don't even give them eye contact, and that usually works. They'll just keep walking. Yeah, just don't give them the eye contact, and they can't latch on to you. Alright, so I, that wasn't a philosophical musing, as I was thinking. It was just like more like practical advice. You know, the dark ones, they want your light. Don't give it to them, just don't look them in the eye. That's what they're looking for, I just want attention, don't give it your attention. That's what they're saying. Fucking is one way to do it. But if you just open your eyes, there it is. You can just make your own shitty little shit baby just by looking at it and kicking it and hurting it. And that shitty little shit baby is yours. Well, if you say so. The different notes have different tones to them. I'm sure it all makes sense in the end. We'll find out who's writing them. Probably just the wind. Oh. I'm seeing a little bit of red up there. Well, when we got smacked, the world did turn red for a bit, which is not the most inviting of colors, but hey, at least it's some kind of color. Hmm. That looks no good down there. Someone looks like he's reaching for help. Someone is backing off from something. Buddy. Through there? Over here. Well, something real bad happened all at once, it looks like. Inside the shop. 
Doesn't Come on, buddy. really look like a person. Looks like he's wrapped with like paper or something. All right, I'm in. I saw something, someone in the streets. I got out of there quick, but my God, it was like a furnace. I got turned around. I don't know where I am. What the hell happened to this city? And why can't I remember? Yeah, we've been seeing some weird stuff, too. I don't think our friend... I don't remember if our friend gave us his name. But it sounds like he's going through the same type of thing that we are. So maybe we'll find him somewhere in this town. Let me just... Yeah, there we go. A lot of typewriters around here in this room. This hot little... Oh. Ah. Okay. I had. It looks like my batteries ran out. Look, I guess I had some more. Maybe I will need to find batteries because it's a. It, you know, in the world of the video game, nothing drains batteries quite like a flashlight. I'll just drain it in minutes if you let it. Uh, so that's, this is the other side. Yeah, the other side of this. Uh, it looks more like they're made of ash. Well, whatever it was that hit him, it seems like it did it uh, pretty instantly. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should hide. Can I go through this? No, I don't think so. What about down here? Anything here? What about this window? No, I guess I can't do anything with the window. Well, I don't think I have any way to actually fight anyone. What's this? Okay, batteries. That's what I picked up earlier in the vending... In, I think it was a vending machine. Something like that. So that's so far the only, like, actual item that I'm finding. I don't know. They count the, the, fi the pictures we've been finding in notes are more like files. Not anything we can actually... Not anything we'd actually use. sure where that's coming from. And I assume I don't want my flashlight out when whoever they are are around. That one note we found did say don't give them your light. Just look the other way. There's someone up there. Just kind of standing there. Am I going to have to get past? No. They're leaving. If I have to actually confront one, there we go, flashlight's better. If I have to confront one, well, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do about that. 
Well, this fellow appears to be wearing a pig mask. I did... Yeah, okay, so I was right that there were some animal masks being worn in that train. It, it kind of looked like that from the silhouettes. Guess I'm walking over there. one way to go. It's not like we have options. Well, here we might have options. Two ways to go. But I hear some growling coming from my right, so maybe this way is where I should go. Do I see some color? Yeah, I do see some color. There's some blood. I guess I can oh, Okay, well I can look through this. I don't think I can open the door, but I can look through the door. The door's ajar. It looks like I should be able to open this. Hold on. Something... There's, there's some issue here. Hold on. Let me make sure that I am oriented. I'm pressing the button. Hmm. Nothing's happening. Well, we can still keep going down here, so maybe I just can't open that door. That seemed a little strange. Also strange is, like, this large vine that appears to be growing through the, the buildings. I had a toy, like this little glowworm toy. And, um, you know, I put it, like, on the, on the lamp. You know, help it to, like, light it up at night. And, you know, it'll stay warm, and it wouldn't make the room so dark. I didn't really like dark rooms, but it was more of like scary movies. Which I knew was fake, but as a kid, you still have this imagination and everything. I don't know where my little glow worm is. I guess he got lost. Well, maybe that's why it wasn't open before. Did they get, uh, like a voice actor for this, or did they just record someone just talking? I wonder. Got dark all of a sudden. What do we have in here? It's like a little... Oh, there we go. You finally make it home and it's all fucked up. Someone's been in your place, touching your stuff, leaving shit that's not yours lying around. And the girl at the door is like, No, baby, no, it's cool. You just forgot. Please, baby. These notes are on a variety of subjects. It doesn't seem like there's anything else in- oh, hold on. Oh, it went off that way. Oh. No, it's still there. Just kind of hanging out over there. I guess it doesn't see me. But I don't think it's moving from there. Oh no, it's going. Slowly going away. Well, I guess the only way we can go is 
after it, or can we go down here? Well, this is definitely new. Oh, someone's over there. Is he coming up here, or is he gonna leave? It looks like he's leaving. way. Hmm. Do I want to go left or right there? It's just kind of staying there. It's going back. down here. Is there anything to... Oh, yeah, there are stairs. Mm, hearing some noises. I got too close. I got too close. It looks like I can elevate myself. Well, I guess I'm back. Perhaps death does not have any hold over me, or maybe it's just temporary. Hmm. Well, I can't go back through. Well, maybe that's what some of these locked doors are for. Maybe they are respawn points. Oh, is this? Yeah, this is the place. Respawn just over, over this. All right, he heard me without seeing me, I think. Just got too close, I guess. Well, he's not here now. Behind the dresser was a little red door. Behind the red door was a narrow hallway. The little girl opened the door and crawled all the way down where it was narrow and tight and stuck and never an oh god help, please. Oh, I'm sorry. Please. Like an enormous pipe is what I guess this is. Maybe? I'm not sure. Mm, looks like there was a, two ways we could go, but who knows which way is right. Let's just keep going this way, I guess. I'm looking down. My flashlight's pointing down. It really shouldn't. There we go. Can I open this? Oh. Have to replace the batteries, it seems. There we go. What about this? Does not seem like it. Can I... Oh, I can just stick my head through it. Okay, what does that say? Oh, it's like a really disgusting toilet. Um... 
Devastating reports from Dead City. Victims too numerous to be counted. I wonder what city that could be. I wouldn't. I certainly wouldn't want to end up in such a city. even know what that is you know walking down the street it just shows how people are i hate to use the word hate but sometimes you just have to hate people for how they are the way they are it's not because it's the way their mother and their father raised them it's just the way they choose to act even though their mother and their father treated them well they choose to be mean and evil because they don't get things their way. Hmm. Those, I think, I guess those are batteries. They actually have some color to them. Well, could try that other way that I saw before. Or I can't because this is just too high for me to get up on, so never mind on that. Well, this does waste batteries, but I can't see anything without it. Oh, down here, I see. No one's impressed. Let's take these. It does seem that we are continuing to just keep constantly going down. Downwards further into the labyrinthine city. What will we find at the bottom? Hopefully not that. I think we're evolving. And human beings are no exception. We're always evolving and uh, we're at a stage now that we need to grow out of. <laughs> right? Humanity is uh, just uh, on a crash course to, you know, oblivion, you know? But people, I, everybody I talk to, I mean, everybody seems to know that, but nobody seems to be able to do anything about it. I just kind of accept the fact that, you know, we're all going to die one day and might as well make the most of it while we're here. Once you accept that, uh, that life and death are just two sides of the same darn thing, people don't have to live in fear anymore. Yeah, they, these are not voice actors, are they? They just got people to just, I don't know, maybe just like got them drunk and just got them to talk for a bit. A mm, couple ways we could go. What about these stair these really steep stairs heading up? What's up here? Oh, it's this. Okay, never mind. I did did not recognize that from the other perspective. Well. Oh, I think I came down around this. Yeah, I think I did, I think I did that. Yeah, because that's a box. Can I open this? Yeah, I missed this. Batteries. Good thing I came back down, being back over here. All right. Now that we've done that, now let's go down this really wide one, which seems like the main path. Now, that wasn't my flashlight. That was another source of light. There's something sparking over here. Ah, these aren't vines, these are cables. Someone's using a lot of power.
batteries. Oh, that's unfortunate. There appears to be enormous fungus growing out of that corner. You hate to see that. Did he see me? He was staring at me for a bit. Yeah, he saw me. Well, that one woman did say don't make eye contact. So maybe that's just my own fault. I mean, some people just, you don't want, you don't want to give them attention. You don't want to give them your light. Just look the other way, is what they're saying. Alright. They do respawn me pretty close to the death part, though, so at least that's good. So maybe it's if they look at me and I can see the reflecting eyes, that's my cue to just sort of get into cover. Oh yeah. It's all wet and slimy. Look at that. So many mailboxes, but no mail. Those mailboxes will never serve their purpose of being, for there is no mail to be delivered. A sad existence. Even if they are in no danger of being attacked by the animal, the antler people that we've been seeing. What good is safety if you just cannot actually serve the purpose that you were born to do. I think I've gone in a circle. Yeah, we're back here. I didn't see anything to pick up or any files to look at. But maybe we're just gonna have to head to the right. There's a path we can take. Oh yeah, more fungus. That must mean we're on the right path. Nope. Oh, tried to get around. Was hoping I could keep the pillar between us. It did not work. It just moves too fast. Once it knows you're there, there's not a whole lot you can do about it. Oh, two people rising out this. All right. Well, things are clearly getting serious. Difficulty is increasing. And I still don't have any means of fighting back. And I, I doubt I'm actually going to ever get any means of fighting back, so this is just going to be completely a stealth thing. Let's see. Maybe is, do, uh, is this down here is where I need to go? I don't see where he is. Can't actually see anything. I 
don't see anywhere to go from here. I mean, I could go... I don't... I think this is just looping around, though. Yeah, this is the pillar. This is where I... I that, that's where I died the last time. So this is just a loop. There's nothing that's catching my attention as to a way I could go. But fortunately, that guy doesn't seem to be here. I wonder if the game is having pity on me for dying twice to him. Maybe they're just removing him for, for right now. So I did go down here, but I didn't see another path. I'll try it again. Maybe I missed something. Ah. That's it. It's lit up and everything. I just didn't look at it. Wow. That's unfortunate. Chapter 2 is done. Once again, it advises me to take a break. That seems like good advice. I think I'll do that. It is... This has a very oppressive mood to it. Just a whole lot of darkness just pushing in on you. Only your flashlight can break it, but of course you have limited battery power, because it is a video game and that's how that works. And now we have enemies... Strange crawling things in the dark that look at you with glowing eyes, and you're completely helpless against them. Nothing you doesn't seems like you can do about it. No weapons or no way to defend yourself, and they kill you real fast. But I guess we will take a break because I guess this counts as progress. The floorboards beneath us broke, and we plummeted down further down. As we, our progression has been to keep going further down. We didn't see Dana at all during this chapter. The woman in the yellow dress that we've been following. Or, at the beginning, we left her, but now we're trying to follow, get back to her. We need to make up our mind, I guess. But we didn't see her at all in this chapter. Maybe we'll see her in the next one. But for right now, I'm going to take a break. And as far as, as far as you go, you can just face forward. Until we come back with more Here They Lie. I guess we found They. Right? It's here they lie. Who are they? I guess it's I guess we fat we saw they. They are the creeping terrors that have antlers. That must be the they. We will try to contend with they next time. <laughs>